Welcome to Electron Online. Here's another way in which we can look at a triad, which is a tensor of rank 3, which has 27 components, so it's basically represented by a block like we saw in the previous video. But here what we did was we sliced the block up in three, well, vertical slices, so to speak. We have a slice from the top, a slice from the middle, and a slice from the bottom. And then we have placed in the subscripts, but I've left one blank so we can fill it in together so we can see how that really works. Remember that there is three indices, the first, the second, and the third. The first one represents what we would call the row. And so we have the first row, the second row, and the third row, so go from top to bottom. Then the second index represents the column from left to right. So we have the first column, the second column, the third column. And then the third index represents the page, which is the first page, the second page, and the third page. So it depends how you want to slice things. And so how do we write the subscripts here? So first of all, when we go from top to bottom, the first subscript here, all the first subscripts here would be X's, all the first subscripts here would be Y's, and therefore all the subscripts at the bottom here needs to be Z's because we go from top to bottom. So it's the bottom position going from top to bottom. Index one is therefore a Z. So everybody gets a Z as the first index. Now for the second index. Well, we go from left to right. So the subscript means for the first three on the left, they get an X. For the second three in the middle, they get a Y. For the third three in the right side, they get a Z. From left to right, index two representing the columns. So we go X on the first column, we get Y on the second column, and we get a Z on the third column. And then finally, we go from front to back. The first page, the second page, the third page, that's the third index. So the first on the front, all of them get X's, then they all get Y's, then they all get Z's. So in this case, oh, let's see here. I think I made a mistake. This should be a tau because that's in the front. And this should be a sigma because that's in the back because we have a diagonal that goes from one quarter at the top to one quarter at the bottom, the front left corner at the top, the bottom right corner in the back. So this is a sigma because that will get all Z's. So here on the front, we go from front to back. These are all X's in the front for the third index. The second is all Y's, that would be the second page. And the third, these are all Z's. And here you can see the triple Z, so we associate that with a sigma, meaning here we have a sigma Y, 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 a sigma X, 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 a sigma Z, Z, Z. So diagonal through the cube from top left to bottom right, we have what we call the diagonal components, which all have the same indices, three X's, three Y's, three Z's. And that's how you fill in the indices on any one of these levels, representing the different slices of the cube from top to bottom. And that's another look at a triad.